So in the last video, we left off being able to tokenize um, this string here. We were able to recognize end if, uh, key, the end if keyword, the then keyword, and the if keyword, and then the if condition in here. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be uh, setting up our parser so that our parser can actually parse this, because at the moment, uh, all we're doing is generating a string of tokens, as you can see here. But uh, right now, since uh, all we're doing is tokenizing the string, we're not actually executing any of the tokens using the parser, it doesn't actually do anything. So the first thing I need to do is I need to um, comment this return out so that we uh, aren't returning nothing from the lexer. Then I want to just, I can leave the print tokens in, uh, and I want to return the actual tokens themselves. That way they'll be passed to the parser, and the parser will actually be able to uh, parse the tokens. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come down here to the bottom, and we're just going to copy and paste this, and we're going to change this. So it's going to say if, and we're going to actually look at our tokens first. So here we have if, and then we have our condition. Then we have a then statement, then a print, then a string, then an end if. So we need to be able to recognize this whole string, or well, this whole set of tokens. So now we're going to do that is we're going to first look for the if keyword. So the first thing we're going to put in here is if. Then we're going to have our condition. So let's go up here. So what we could do is we could uh, take these three tokens and merge them together and call it condition. But what we're going to actually do is just leave it the way it is at the moment to keep things uh, simpler. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if, and then we'll say num equals equals num then. So we're going to have uh, five tokens here. So we need to say we need to get the first token, then we have the second one, and the second one is just num. So then we uh, let's go back to terminal. So you can see the first three characters is actually the identifier of the token. Then we have a colon, then a one. So we only want to get the first three characters because we're only identifying what type of token it is at the beginning. So what we want to do is we want to get the first three characters. Then for the equals operator. If we go here, you can see that there's no colon because there's no data attached to the equals operator. There's only uh, the actual name of the operator itself. So what we need to do is go back to um, our text editor. So we can get rid of this because we're not looking for uh, the first four characters of this token because this is all this token is. So we can just uh, get the whole token itself. Then we're going to copy and paste this. And we want to get the next number, which means we have to get the first three characters again. So we're going to go 0 to 3. And then we want to get the last uh, token, which is the then token. And we need to increment this by one, increment this by one as well. Uh, and in the last one, since it's a then token, uh, as you can see, there's no data attached to the then token. It's just the token itself. So we can take the whole token when we're uh, parsing it. And here you can see we are taking three tokens and we're incrementing the uh, instruction pointer by three. But here you can see we're taking five tokens. You can see one, two, three, four, five. So we want to increment this by five to uh, push it on to the next. Uh, we want to move it on to the next token after uh, the then. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to print um, found and if statement. So let's go back to Python, let's type Python, type Python 3 actually, Python 3, basic.py, test.lang, hit enter, and okay, we have an error. So you can see here we got an error. The reason for that was because if we go back to our file, our parser knows how to parse these five tokens, then it knows how to parse these two tokens, but it doesn't know how to parse the end if token. So what we can do for now is we can just uh, delete the end if token from our file. Uh, and we run this again, you'll see now our errors disappear. And that's because our parser now doesn't have to deal with the end of token. Now that we've uh, identified our if statement, what we want to do is we want to check the condition. So here what we're going to say is if tokes i plus 1. And this time we want to start from the fourth character and go to the end of the string. So we want to get the fourth character to the end, which is, uh, the way we do that is we access the fourth index, and we put a colon at the after it, but we don't specify where we want it to stop, and that means Python will just go to the end of the uh, string, which in this case it means it'll go to the end of the token. So we want to say if the token, uh, the first number, which is this one, and we want to compare that against this one. So we want to say equals tokes i plus three, and we want to get the fourth character to the end again. 
The reason we want to we, uh, go from i plus 1 to i plus 3 is because we have this double equals in the middle, which will be i plus 2. So this is i plus 1, i plus 2, i plus 3. And what we're going to say is print find a match. Uh, let's just say uh, true. And then we'll say else print false on this code now so let's uh, just hit enter and we run it and you see we get true printed out to us if I go back to the file uh, test lang and I change this to a 2 and I, so now I'm saying if 1 is equal to 2 then print hello world obviously 1 does not equal 2 so we should get false now you can see we get false printed out to us so let's keep it true for the moment uh, and what we're going to say is we're actually going to put the end if back in now so let's run this again, we'll get our error again. And what we'll do is we'll go up here to the top and the first thing we'll check for is the end if. So we'll say if tokes i equals and if print find an end if. Let's just change it or put this to elif. So let's run this now. Uh, we actually need to increment the instruction pointer. So you can see now it says find an end if and the error has disappeared. So what we're going to do is we're just going to delete that print for now and we're just going to leave it like this. So this basically means that our end if does nothing but it prevents our error from displaying. We run it again. You can see we get, here's our tokens. Here's the result of our if condition, and here is what uh, the next token in the list after our if statement. Because we haven't actually told it to uh, run the code underneath yet, so either way, if this is true or false, at the moment this code will still run. So that's it for this video, don't forget to like, comment, favourite and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.